So this part of the, this video is going to be on um, when you're given information on crude birth and crude death rate and net migration rate, how to find population growth rate, and you could also find doubling time from this. So natural population growth rate means simply births minus deaths. Remembering that crude means out of a thousand. So let me just show you really quickly. I'm going to kind of show you here at the top of the page. If I did crude birth minus crude death rate, what that really means is that is out of a thousand. And if I want to find percent change, it would be out of a hundred, okay, and to find my percent change there. So if I were to do this right here and I cross multiply, I would have a hundred times crude birth minus crude death over a thousand. When I cancel zeros here, I basically get that percent is crude birth minus crude death divided by, that's kind of hard to read there, divided by 10. Because remember, crude means out of 1,000 and percent means out of 100. So that's the shortcut for doing these problems, is you take that difference and you divide it by 10 and it gives you the percent population growth rate. So for natural, it's just births minus deaths. So I'm going to take 20.63 minus 18.86. So I got to do a little subtraction by hand. For several of us, it's probably been a long time since we've done that. Probably the 5 from there. Then I'm going to make this 19 and make that 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. 19 minus 18 is 1. So I get 1.77, and then I divide that by 10, so I get 0.177%. So my natural population change is 0.177%. Now, I could find doubling time with that or something if I wanted using rule of 70. The second question on here says calculate the population growth rate. So the population growth rate includes immigration and emigration. If I look at the information, immigra net migration rate is immigrants minus emigrants. So I'm going to actually add the net migration rate. I'm going to go to births minus deaths, and I got 1.77. Then I add the net migration rate. Notice in this problem, the net migration rate is negative. So I add a negative number, and I get 0.21. So I get 0.21. And here's a very common mistake is we think 0.21 and we're done. Notice it's 0.21. I still have to divide by 10. And so I'm going to get 0.021%. So I intentionally chose this problem um, because of this idea, it's already a decimal, but I still had to divide by 10. So just being very aware of that, that's a common mistake that happens. Next one I have here is for Nepal in 2002. Um, calculate the natural population change. So the birth rate is 32.94. In fact, I would encourage you to pause the video and uh, then just check the answer in a minute because see if you can do this one on your own. So I have births minus deaths. When I do my subtraction, I get 22.291. Again, now I still have to divide by 10 because crude means out of 1,000 and percent means out of 100. So I get 2.291% is my natural population change. To go to my population growth rate, I add my net migration rate. So 22.1, I go back to this number here, or I can start from the beginning and I add zero, which gives me 22.91. So in this case, my population growth rate and natural population growth rate are the same. It tells me Nepal's probably not a place where there's immigration or emigration going on. Lastly, I'm gonna do at the bottom of the page, Afghanistan for 2002. So I'm gonna take the crude birth minus crude death rate. So I have 41.03 minus 17.43. When I subtract here, oops, when I subtract I get zero. This would be six, and then this would be 23. Okay, always good to kind of do a quick add back, and I get, yep, my, so I get 
3.6. To go to natural, again, I divide by 10. So I get 2.36% is my natural population change rate. To get my population growth rate then, I go births minus deaths. And again, now I'm gonna add my net migration rate, so 10.7. You might say, wait, why are you adding? Because at the top of the page, you subtracted. Here, if you'll notice, it was a negative number. So I added a negative number, which means I subtracted. Down here, it's positive. So I'm adding a, I'm adding that 10.7. So I add the net migration rate. And so, because again, it's immigrants minus emigrants. So in this case, I'm adding the net migration rate and I get four and I get uh, 34.3, I believe, divided by 10 and I get 3.43% is my population growth rate. So that's how you would do these problems for uh, crude birth and crude death rate.